Welcome to our journey through the heart of Croatia, a country where the Adriatic Sea sparkles under the sun, history whispers from ancient walls, and nature showcases its most breathtaking creations. From the enchanting streets of Dubrovnik to the serene beauty of Plitvice Lakes, we're exploring the 18 best places that make Croatia a must-visit destination. Let's dive into the adventure and find out what makes Croatia a treasure trove of cultural and natural wonders. Ready to explore? Let's go! Number 1. Dubrovnik Dubrovnik is famous for its historic old town surrounded by large stone walls built in the 16th century. Visitors can walk on these walls to enjoy views of the sea. The city is full of old buildings and monuments that tell stories of the past. There are also beaches near the city where people can relax and swim in the clear blue water. Dubrovnik is often called the Pearl of the Adriatic because of its stunning beauty and rich history. It's a place where history and modern day meet, offering something for everyone from history enthusiasts to beach lovers. Number two, Split. Split is known for the Diocletian's Palace, a large Roman building that is very old and protected by UNESCO. This city combines history, shopping, and places to eat inside its ancient walls. It's also the place where you can take a ferry to visit nearby islands. Split has a mix of modern life and ancient history, making it an interesting place for tourists. The waterfront promenade is a great place for a walk, offering views of the sea and the chance to enjoy the local atmosphere. Number three, Plitvice Lakes National Park. Plitvice Lakes National Park is famous for its beautiful lakes connected by waterfalls, set in a canyon made of limestone. There are paths and trails that let visitors walk around and see the water and forests up close. The park is home to many animals, including bears and wolves. It's a place of natural beauty where you can see clear water, green forests, and waterfalls. This park is one of Croatia's most popular natural attractions, offering breathtaking views and peaceful walks in nature. Number four, Zagreb. Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, has a historic park called Gornjigrad with medieval buildings. The city is known for its many museums and a lively cafe culture. The Dolak Market is a central place where you can find local food. Zagreb also has a large park called Maksimir, perfect for relaxing and outdoor activities. The city combines culture, history, and modern life, making it a great place to explore Croatian traditions and contemporary life. Number five, Var. Var is an island with sunny weather, historic buildings, and cultural events. It's known for beautiful beaches and fields of lavender. The nightlife on Havar is exciting, with many places to go out. The island also offers historic sites, such as the Havar Fortress, which provides stunning views of the sea and nearby islands. Havar is a popular destination for both relaxation and adventure, offering water sports, hiking, and exploring the island's beauty. Number six, Korkula. Korkula is an island thought to be where Marco Polo was born. It's surrounded by walls and filled with old streets. The island is also known for making white wine, there are beaches and quiet places to swim and relax. Korkula's old town is well-preserved, with buildings that show its long history. It's a peaceful place where you can enjoy the sea, taste local food and wine, and learn about Croatian history. Number seven, Rovin. Rovinj is a coastal town with a clear Italian influence in its architecture and food. Its streets are narrow and made of cobblestone, leading to a church on a hill. Rovinj is a beautiful town where you can walk around, eat fresh seafood, and enjoy the view of the sea. The town is also known for its art galleries and workshops. Rovinj's coast has clear water, making it a good place for swimming and sunbathing. Number eight, Zadar. Zadar is famous for the sea organ, a unique structure that makes music with the waves. The city has old ruins from Roman and Byzantine times. Zadar is also known for beautiful sunsets that you can watch from the seafront. The city offers a mix of history, culture, and natural beauty, making it an interesting place to visit. The nearby beaches and islands offer opportunities for day trips and enjoying the Adriatic Sea. Number nine, Pula. Pula is known for its ancient Roman amphitheater, one of the best preserved in the world. The city has a rich history and hosts cultural festivals. Its coast has clear water and beaches for swimming. Pula's amphitheater is a venue for concerts and events, adding a unique experience to visits. The city also has other historic sites, including temples and forums, offering a glimpse into its past as an important Roman city. We've already breezed through half of this guide. If you're loving the adventure so far, make sure to jump into the description below and look for the link for extra juicy details on the places we've explored so far. If you haven't already, I would really love if you could smash that like button, drop a comment, hit subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to join our travel tribe for more travel tips. 
Now hold on to your seats because we're diving back into more exciting things to do. Let's keep this adventure rolling. Number 10. KRK National Park KRK National Park is famous for its stunning waterfalls and the chance to swim in some areas. It offers boat tours and walking trails. The park has historic sites like monasteries and ruins. Kirkia's waterfalls are among Croatia's most beautiful natural sites, with clear water and green surroundings. It's a place where you can enjoy nature, learn about history, and relax in the beautiful landscape. Number 11. Istria Peninsula The Istria Peninsula is known for food influenced by Italy, including truffles and olive oil. It has hilltop towns, wineries, and coastlines. Towns like Porek and Rovinj are popular for their beauty and history. Istria offers a mix of culture, history, and natural beauty with opportunities for tasting local food and wine, exploring small towns, and enjoying the sea. Number 12. Trogir Trogir is a historic town with a mix of Romanesque Gothic architecture, including a famous cathedral. Its narrow streets have bars, cafes, and shops. Trogir is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its well-preserved medieval layout and buildings. It's a place where you can feel the history while enjoying the coastal setting and modern amenities. Number 13. Muljet National Park. Muljet National Park covers part of Muljet Island and is known for its saltwater lakes and Mediterranean vegetation. It offers swimming, kayaking, and exploring ancient ruins. The park is a peaceful place with clear water, forests, and the chance to see wildlife. Mulja is a beautiful natural area where you can enjoy the outdoors and learn about the island's history. Number 14. Sebenik. Sebenik is home to the Cathedral of St. James, a UNESCO site. The city's streets and squares are filled with historic buildings. It's the gateway to the Kornati Islands, ideal for boating. Sebenik combines cultural heritage with natural beauty, offering visitors historic sites and access to the Adriatic Sea. Number 15. Makarska. Makarska is a resort town known for its beaches and the Biokovo Mountains. It has a lively promenade and nightlife. The nearby nature park offers hiking and views of the sea. Makarska is a place for beach lovers and those looking for outdoor activities, with its beautiful setting between the sea and mountains. Number 16. Vis Island. Vis Island is remote and known for its untouched nature and history. It has beautiful beaches and clear water. The island's past includes Greek and Roman times. Vis is a place for those looking to escape the crowds and enjoy a peaceful island atmosphere. Number 17. Osijek. Osijek is the largest city in eastern Croatia, known for its open spaces and the Drava River. The old fortress is a highlight, showing military architecture. Osijek offers a mix of history, nature, and modern life with parks, walks along the river, and cultural events. Number 18, Slavonia. Slavonia is known for its landscapes, including rivers and forests. It's rich in traditions and agriculture. This region offers a look at rural Croatian life, less visited by tourists, making it a unique place to explore the country's natural beauty and culture. That's a wrap for today's journey. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. To find out more about the area, click the link below. If you found these travel tips and tricks useful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really supports the channel. Got any travel stories or questions of your own? I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And for more adventures and travel advice, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. Until our next trip, keep exploring and stay curious.